Hi there, Roy Smalley, Nesta Certified Personal Trainer, BodyChangeCoach.com. I'm demonstrating a front hip stretch for you. This stretch not only gets into the hips, the hip flexors, but also deep inside the hip into a muscle called the psoas, which is one of the main primary muscles that connect the leg directly into the core, okay? And it's a muscle that allows you to do this, and it can tire out very quickly. It can get very short, very tight, especially in a world where we do a lot of our work in a seated position. Those hips can get short and tight. That soleus muscle can get short and tight. It's a great idea to stretch those out because one of the side effects of having really tight hips, a really tight soleus muscle, is that it can pull the, uh, the back into what's called an anterior pelvic tilt. It can make the back really round out, can make the butt stick out. I see this in a lot of people that I work with. And one of the side effects of that, having that, that exaggerated anterior pelvic tilt, is that it puts a lot of pressure in the low back. It can result in a lot of low back pain, a lot of low back aches. Very important to get those hips stretched out to help keep your body more functional, to help keep yourself in a much better position, not only through your regular uh, functional exercise program, but through everyday life. To stretch out that muscle, we're gonna start off just like we were gonna do a calf stretch, but rather than pushing back into that and leaning forward to get the calf stretched out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze hard on the glute right here, okay, squeeze the butt muscle, and push the hip forward like that, okay? That's called a posterior pelvic tilt. We're kind of pushing the glute forward underneath the hip to get that muscle stretched out. I'm a little bit tight right now, so I can feel this. You're gonna feel this in the hip, and as that hip relaxes, you're gonna to start to feel it deeper inside the hip into that soleus muscle. You wanna hold this stretch for 20 to 30 seconds, okay? Again, keep that glute nice and squeezed throughout. Press the hip forward through that. You're going to go forward onto the toes and the bottom. You're not going to be back on the heel like you would for a calf stretch. 20, 30 seconds. This feels great once it starts to release. Okay? Again, like I mentioned before, any stretch you want to hold for at least 20 to 30 seconds because that's about how long it takes for the muscle to really relax into the stretch. If you release before that, it could actually wind up tighter than before and you're not going to see any benefit from that stretching program. This stretch is fantastic too for anybody who does a lot of sitting throughout the day. It's fantastic for cyclists, fantastic for runners who are constantly using a hip flexion motion in their sport of choice. Uh, and it, uh, it's really great for anybody who just suffers from low back pain. Could be that these, these muscles are really tight and pulling you into that anterior pelvic tilt. This is a really great way to help release that. Again, like I mentioned before with the calf stretch, you wanna make sure that you warm that muscle up a little bit. Do some jumping jacks, do some high knee walking to get those hip flexors moving. Make sure that they're nice and warm before you actually try to stretch that out so you're not stretching a cold muscle and potentially causing a tear there that could cause some soreness, okay? Once again, Roy Smalley, Nesta Certified Personal Trainer with BodyChangeCoach.com. Come see me if you got any questions.